Hi everybody, Alexander, this just got real.com. Coming at you with a tuning video, how to tune your guitar for beginners, part of my beginning guitar series, which is all linked below. Um, check it out. You have always wanted to do it, and now you're doing it, my friend. You're playing guitar. You are gonna sound amazing pretty soon, but first we need to get this thing tuned up. Hey, first though, this just got real.com is the place to go for all of your imaginary band apparel needs. That's right, this just got real.com makes band t-shirts and apparel for imaginary bands. I happen to be wearing one right now. Art Prison, one of the bands featured on the site. Go to this just got real.com and check it out. It's kind of strange, but kind of cool. Who would have thought of that? Imaginary band t-shirts. Huh. Anyway, let's get right down to tuning. Tuning the guitar takes a little practice, just like playing the guitar. I'm going to walk you through it real slowly here. Um, the first thing you're going to want to know is the order of the strings. You're going to want to memorize that, too. Um, we've got E, A, D, starting from the top, the low string. E, A, D, G, B, E. And there's a mnemonic phrase that I like. I didn't make it up. I wish I had. It's Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. Kind of sad. Why would you eat dynamite? I don't know. It's, it doesn't even seem like a thing that you would do. But he did, and he's and he's and he's gone. Um, Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. E A D G B E. The order of the strings when you're in standard tuning. And I'm going to show you how to use. A, a tuning app. We've got Guitar Tuna open on my wife's phone here that I have duct taped to the guitar. Normally you don't have a smartphone taped to your guitar in any kind of normal universe, but there it is so I can show you how that works. Sometimes you might have a, a clip-on tuner that you clip onto the headstock. Um, those work good too, but I like the Guitar Tuna app a lot. I'm going to show you how it works. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure to do is make sure you're twisting the right tuning knob. The, 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 each string has its own tuner, okay? So the one closest to you and on top is the low E string. And you can hear as I play the low E and I turn that tuner, you hear the pitch go down, you hear the pitch go up. Right? It doesn't take very much for it to be, for it to change pitch, right? It doesn't take much of a turn. I'm going to kind of just detune the guitar in all directions so that I can imagine, okay, we just picked it up. It's way out of tune and we're going to use our tuner. We're going to use our guitar tuner to tune it up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the string pick in my hand. We're going to play the string and I'm going to turn the knob at the same time watching the screen on guitar on the Guitar Tune app. And right now we've got the, the I, little icon is on the left hand side of the screen and it says too low, meaning that's below where you should be at E. It's just underneath the E note. And if I start to turn my peg, tuning peg, slightly, playing the string at the same time, turning ever so slightly until it gets to the middle and it goes bleep and it's all green across. That's the E, perfectly tuned to E, okay? You're going to want to make sure that, so I'm on A right now and I'm below the note, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to Make sure I'm on A, I'm just gonna kind of give it a turn like that. Okay, it's changing pitch. I'm definitely turning the right knob, turning the right tuning peg. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm below, it says too low. Keep turning just ever so slightly. Playing it and turning it at the same time, watching the screen until I get to, and there it is. Okay, now we're on D. It says too low again, just below the note. Turn, turn, keep turning. So slightly. 
you want to be real careful that you're turning the right peg. Um, if you, if some, the, one of the first mistakes that people make is they play the string and then they start turning. Instead of continuing to play the string, they just keep turning that peg, forgetting that they've turned it maybe three or four times around and then suddenly the string breaks. So playing it and turning it at the same time is important. Just so you know, okay, you, you haven't turned it too far. Um, you're, you know, you're, you're close to the note and you're getting closer. Now we're on G. And now it says too high. I'm just above a G. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tune below G. You always wanna tune up to a note. Okay, so you wanna be below the note. So right now I'm, it says too low. I'm underneath that note. I'm lower than a G. And now I'm gonna tune up to it. Good. You always wanna tune up to the note as opposed to down to the note. If you tune up to a note, your guitar will stay in tune better. Um, and that's way above a B. Turn. I'm gonna tune all the way down. See, now I've tuned down, and it says, oh, you're on B, but don't stop there. Go underneath the note. Now I'm lower than a B, and I'm gonna tune up to it. Once you have them all tuned, go back to the first one and just check them again. Give them a quick check. Good. 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 Adjust that B a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And then, once you know a few chords, you'll just you'll play a chord that's E major. Good. But that's what this series is for, learning some chords. And once you know those chords, you're going to go, oh, sounds good. It's starting to sound like a guitar. Cool. So that's it. Guitar tuning 101. It's easy stuff. You just need to practice. Every time you pick your guitar up, tune it. Um, when you get new strings on your guitar, they're, they're going to need serious tuning. Every time you pick up your guitar, they're going to be stretching and settling. And then after a week, it'll start staying in tune more consistently. But every time you pick up your guitar, just get in the practice of tuning. The more you practice it, the better you're going to get at it. Don't let your friend do it every time for you, because you aren't going to get better at it if you're always letting your friend do it. Um, check out my series. Thank you for subscribing here. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to check out This Just Got Real for all of your imaginary band apparel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.